In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can detect unauthorized access to your computer or laptop and how to prevent unauthorized access to your laptop or computer. People today are sharing living space more than ever before. They're sharing apartments, they're sharing dorm rooms, they're sharing homes and condos. And in that sharing of living space, sometimes you can become very uneasy, be concerned about someone accessing your laptop or computer unauthorized. They notice that things on their computer have changed. They notice that their computer is not in the same place as they left it. They notice unusual things happening on their computer or that they come home from work and their computer is warm and they know that that should not be the case. Unauthorized access to your computer or laptop, you should take this very seriously. Many times this can lead to much more serious things, such as cyber stalking, which is a crime. It's important for you to know that it only takes about 20 minutes. If you're skilled in IT, you can break into almost any computer. The Windows operating system is designed to log or audit whenever events happen. And one of the events that it logs is whenever you turn the computer on, whenever you log on, whenever you power off. I want to show you some easy to use software that will help you look at this information in the Windows operating system that can help you identify is your computer or laptop being turned on when you haven't authorized it. We are also going to look at software that will look at the operating system and tell us, is someone logging on that should not be logging on? Is someone logging on with your username and password and you don't even realize that's happening? With these two software packages, we're going to quickly assess, is someone powering on the computer unauthorized? Is someone logging on unauthorized? So let's get started. To begin our investigation, we're going to go to one website and download two software packages. So you can launch Chrome or whatever browser you use and just go to google.com and it takes you to their search page. And once we get to the search engine, we're going to type N-I-R-S-O-F-T, NERSOFT. That's the website that we want to go to to get this software. So we're going to hit enter and you can see NERSOFT net right here. And we're going to go ahead and click on that link and it takes us to NERSOFT's web page. We're going to come down to system tools and click on system tools. And then we're going to scroll down, turn on time view. So this software package right here, we're going to click on it. And this is the main page for this software package that we're going to use to determine is anyone turning on my computer at any time unauthorized? So I'm going to slide down the page until I get to the download link. I'm just going to keep coming down and here download, turn on time view. And I'm going to click on that. It's going to start downloading that software. In most cases, it's going to go to your download folder, but we'll check that in a minute. So that's downloading right now. I'm going to scroll back up again, hit system tools on the menu and scroll back down until we get to the next utility, which is right underneath it. It's called Win Log On View. And we're gonna click on that. And that takes us to the main page for this software package. Again, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the download link. So here we can download Win Log On View. And these are both two software packages that we're going to be using to do our investigation. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my browser. And then I'm going to go to my little folder, my file explorer and open that up. And I'm going to come over to the downloads folder. And there's the two files that I just downloaded. Notice they've got a zipper across each folder. We're going to right mouse click and extract. And we'll just leave the default. It will have some path here. We're just going to extract it. And it should extract it right here. I'm going to minimize that. Come back to the other one that isn't extracted, the win log on view and extract that one also. So I'm going to extract both of these zipped up folders. So I'm going to extract that one and just leave it default. And now notice we have four folders. Double click the folder like turn on times view. It has 
a help file, that's with this question mark, a readme file, and the executable. And so we can right away, right mouse click, run as an administrator, and immediately let this begin to pull information up. Now I'm going to take my mouse and hover over here on the edge and just widen it out a little bit. Just take it and slide it out a little bit so I can see more information. Here is your startup time. This is the day and time that it was fired up or powered on. This was the day and time that it was turned off. And the duration column tells you how long it was on. You're the only one who knows when you look at startup time, shutdown time, is that you or not? Is that during when you're away from the home, you're at work and it's being turned on. You're the only one who can look at this information and determine is someone turning on your computer unauthorized. At this point, you want to start scrolling through this and looking at any time that it is being powered on without your authorization. A lot of the information in this software package you don't really need to pay attention to or even worry about. What we're mainly worried about is being able to look at dates and times to, for you to determine, is someone turning on my computer or laptop without authorization? If we've determined that someone is powering up our computer in an unauthorized time, we're not giving them permission, then we definitely want to go to the next step. So let's go back to our download folder. I'm going to launch Explorer, go to Downloads. And this time we're going to go to the folder called Win Logon View. Double click and open that up. These all require administrative rights. So here where it says Win Logon View, I'm going to right mouse click and run as an administrator. Say yes. And this is going to give me a lot of information to look at. This software, like the one previous, goes into the Windows system and pulls out log information so that we can see what was going on even when we weren't there. So one of the columns we want to look at is log on time. This gives us date and time. And notice we can sort, just click at the top, we can sort all these columns. We want to look at log on time. Obviously, we want to also pay attention to log off time and duration. So that gives us an idea when someone has logged on. This is not when someone powered the computer on. This is when someone put in a username and password and now has full access to your system. An important column that we want to look at is log on type over here. And this one where it says interactive, whenever you see interactive, that means they logged on at your keyboard. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. When it says remote, that means that they logged on via the network. We're going to look at that also, but interactive is probably typically the way they're going to log on. So you want to look over here on username and find it, is anyone logging on with an account that you don't recognize. For example, there's one called Heidi. I created this one for this example, but if you saw a username isn't supposed to be on your computer, that alerts you that yes, this person has cracked your computer, created a user account and a password, and is now not only powering up your computer, but is actually logging on and having access to your computer system. If you see your account, let's say you're John, and you see your account logging on while you're at work. This means that your account has been hacked. Your account has been compromised in some way and someone is logging onto your computer under your account name and your password and they have full access to all your data, all your apps, everything. This is a severe problem. So remember, this app is about who successfully logs on. It looks at time and date that user logs on and off, username, log off time, log off time. Did they log on to the computer locally or did they do it from the network? How long were they on the computer? And if they were from the network, what IP address? Now, if you found an account using our last software tool that should not be logging onto your computer, you, you're not aware of you ever creating that account, you see it's being used to log on, what we wanna do is use this app and we're going to go in and delete those accounts. And we're also going to do a few more things to verify that nothing else has been changed. So let me show you how to launch that app. We'll go in and clean up the system so that user cannot log on again. Now I'm demonstrating using Windows 11, but Windows 10 is very similar. We're gonna to go to our start. If you're Windows 10, you're gonna go all the way over into the corner and we're gonna to go to the search bar. 
and we're going to type in L-U-S-R-M-G-R, -R, and we're going to hit enter. This is going to open our u local user and group. So we want to double click on users, and we want to look at all these accounts in this user list. If you'll notice that a lot of these accounts are built automatically by Windows, but notice they all have a little down arrow icon. Simply means these are disabled. They can't be used. Notice that John is here. He does not have a down arrow. John can log on. So if you see any account in here besides your account, that does not have a down arrow, delete that account. If you did find an account, in this case, I just created an, a user called Hacker. If you found a user account that isn't authorized, then you simply right mouse click and you delete that account and just get rid of it out of your system. In most cases, you're probably not gonna find an account. We're just checking to make sure. Now you can close out this app. Now, after all of this, you have done these three steps. We've checked for unauthorized power on. We've checked for unauthorized log on. And then we looked at the local user manager to verify that no one else has an account on this computer that shouldn't. But you're still concerned about the behavior of your computer. It's not acting right. And you're still concerned about what may be on the PC. That doesn't mean that you're not infected with malware or a virus or maybe some compromising software. So let's talk now about prevention. How do I prevent from many of these problems? So one of the first things we wanna do is create strong passwords. And I'm gonna show you some great tips on how to create easy but very strong passwords. Use two-factor or multi-factor authentication whenever possible. I'll have a lot of good information in the video notes found in the video description. You can click on it and download it either PDF or a Microsoft document. Lock your screen whenever you leave your computer. Install a very good antivirus program. And I'm gonna recommend one. Watch for shoulder spying when you log on. Make sure someone isn't behind you when you log on. Always shut down your computer or your PC when you're done. Don't put it to sleep. Don't close the top of the laptop. Shut it down. And if you're or sharing a living space, store your laptop in a locked area. If you look at these two passwords, I've got D0G and a bunch of periods. And then I've got this very complex looking password. If I was to ask you which one is more difficult to crack, your answer would be number two. You would be wrong. Number one is actually much more difficult to crack than number two. It's very important to understand you can make easy to remember, but very difficult to hack passwords. And I'm going to show you how. Always lock your screen. You can use the Windows L and it locks your screen at any time. So if you're going to walk away and you're sharing that living space, Windows L locks your screen. Install a good antivirus. Now I get no money. I have no affiliation with Bitdefender, but Bitdefender is what I use and I chose it very carefully. I've used it for years. I recommend it to all my friends. Bitdefender is the one I would recommend. When Bitdefender tells you or alerts you to something, don't ignore it. This is a very solid antivirus program. If you feel like you're infected, you want to get Bitdefender and get it installed and let it run its test on your system. It probably will find things and remove them. Also, when you need support, Bitdefender has a very good support system. You can get a human being and they will help you with a virus infection. Be careful about people behind you when you're logging on and very quickly they've got your password. If you're sharing space, again, when you're done with your computer and if it's a laptop, lock it up. To learn how to do effective passwords, go to grc.com and I will have that information on the screen. This is run by Steve Gibson, who's well known developer and well known in the security space. If you come up to his menu under services, come down to password haystacks and click this. Steve tries to help people understand how to create very good passwords that are not necessarily hard to remember. So he's got what's called a brute force password search space calculator. You can type in your password. Let's put in a password. And it gives you an idea of how long it would take to brute force your password if you used it. 
And you can see by just doing a few small things, this is pretty easy to remember, 252, humble, and three dollar signs. It's got 12 characters. And you can see, if you look down here, you can see how long it would take to brute force this password. And if I added a few more periods, you can say it would take billions of centuries, even with a good computer. One, it's long. And if you'll notice, it's not hard to remember. 252, humble, I've used capital H, some dollar symbols and some periods. It's not that hard to remember. And yet it is extremely difficult to crack. You can read the article on this webpage. It's very informative and it helps you to test your passwords to verify that they are strong. And again, you can use simple things like this that are easy to remember and yet are extremely difficult to crack. If you're watching me right now, you're the very person we're attempting to reach with our channel. People with a real interest to learn technical topics and skills. Because our content is free on YouTube and our audience is a relatively small group of viewers, if any of this material is helpful to you, we would appreciate your support. You can support the channel as simple as liking a video. Hit that like button because it helps others like you find our content. You can subscribe. It's an effective way of supporting us. And if you can, if you're able, you can become a member of the channel. It's $2.99 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And we really want your comments and feedback on any video we produce. And thank you for supporting Tech Savvy Productions. Mm -hmm.